I've measured some points on a digital map so that I can measure on the ground and get an idea where the building is actually going to be. For each point on the building I'm measuring from two points on the ground that I've called X and Y. I need to get a screw into the ground so I can hook the tape onto it because I don't have anyone to hold the other end. first thing to do is to check that the two points are the same distance apart as I've measured on the digital drawing. My first measuring point is 9.762 metres from my mark X. I've made a chalk mark. Now I measure from the other measuring point. Mark some marks out where the house will be. So between these two posts there will be a path down the back. And those represent the wall of the house at the back of the property. These on the left represent the plant room, the front of the plant room. There will be a path. Yeah, that's again that's the wall of the house wall of the house with the bricks on the right and the end of the plant room is here and around about this point the house cuts across at 45 degrees I've laid these block bricks out at 45 degrees to try and represent that so the gap at this side of the house is a bit bigger than the original house and it's because it's got this corner cut off we won't have this dark, damp corner so much. And then this is the, the wall, represented by those bricks. And it goes out. It doesn't go all the way out to this point. This point is where there's a, a pillar that supports the roof. The um, actual window is quite a bit further back in. And this corner cuts across to that post over there. So it's not square with the other the back wall of the house, it's at an angle. And again, this is a pillar. So then the pillar, there's a gap, and then the wall of the house actually proper is a, that's about a few feet in. And that goes down here to this post. And then it turns hard left. So I'm on the outside of the house at the moment. Outside there will be probably a paved area here. And that paved, I'm walking on the paved area. So the bedrooms will be, uh, have their windows there. And then I'm into the hallway now. The coincides with about the edge of the old house and then um, again there's a there's a pillar here which is supports the roof but the pillar is there and they put it and then there's a gap this is an outdoor paved area and um, so this side 
is at a slope too. I'd be under cover here because the roof extends as far as that post, but I wouldn't be indoors. Front door, I think, will be about. Let's judge it. Yeah, the front door is. So you go under the roofy bit, and then the front door's around about here, I think. On this wall of glass, which isn't square with the rest of the house. Tilted round. So now, this walk, I'm inside. I'm looking across the other end of the front hallway, and somewhere around here, I'll be going up the stairs. So if I was upstairs, it would be over here. And then imagine we're upstairs, walking this way, takes me past the toilet on the left, and the window on the right, and then I'd be in the kitchen. Kitchen, dining room, everything room. So on the left here will be all the kitchen units and what have you. So I have a walk here, there will be an island here walk around the island. Remember I'm upstairs, I'm not really downstairs. And there will be a window here. And back this way you can go into a cupboard. Big pantry cupboard. We're in the pantry. All the baked beans and stuff. There's another window here looking up the garden. But anyway, back out of the pantry. Now I'm upstairs still, remember, looking out of a big um, patio type doors here. Um, and again, the same as downstairs, it goes around at 45 degrees. So, this would be a big lounge. I'd be able to look right down that way, see out of the window at the end. And looking around that way, I'd be looking at the kitchen. And so, we've got quite a lot of windows on this side. We've actually got upstairs, this is, don't forget. We've got a big, another patio window. Oh no, it fell over. Over here, in line with these two posts. Big patio window there. Um, and on the other side, the side facing the, the neighbour, there's not so much windows. There's two vertical arrow slit windows, I call them. And there's one quite high level window. Um, that's because it, overlooks the neighbour. And that is the first tour of inside the new house before it's built. Now I haven't done the levels yet. I'm going to do the levels another time I think. Look out how high the kitchen is going to be.